morning guys and welcome to my vlog um i'm currently on my way to malta it's very early in the morning so i'm trying not to wake the neighbors up um malta is a very small island in europe it's very sunny at this time of the year and i think it's really the perfect getaway um especially because hamburg is really cold right now and the weather in malta is like 26 degrees it's a very small island very cozy um that's why i have this Hat. I'm ready for the sun. I'm to, I'm so done with the winter, and this is what I have. Just um, my luggage, and I just ordered a taxi. It's taking like forever, so fingers crossed. I hope I don't miss my flight. So I'll see you guys when I get to the airport. Ciao. I hope I find it and I will see you when I get to the hotel. Cheers. So I got the Uber and the driver is telling me about the history what of Malta. Friend? So you guys were colonized by the British? Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I learned something new today. Yeah, so I think Uber is the best thing to use in Malta because it's quite accessible yes, yes. and it's also quite affordable uh, from the airport. And you know, Malta is a small island, so you can easily get the Uber um, if you book from the airport. So, and the people here are very nice. I mean, that's my first impression so far. Um, the driver is Caramel. His name is Car... Is it Caramel or Caramel? Caramel. Caramel, sorry. Caramel. <laughs> caramel. I said Caramel. No, his name is Carmel. Um, yeah, so he was just telling me about the history. We're headed towards the hotel. It's called Alexandra Hotel. It's in St. Julian. So St. Julian is like the vibrant city um, where the nightlife is good. You have all the restaurants. And I just have to see it for myself because you know Google can lie sometimes. But let's see, we trust Google. And um, yeah, let's get to the hotel and get the day rolling. I'm starving. See you guys. All right. Is Mark, so, so this is Mark. This is port. This nice. is port. So this is where you have the port. Marseille means port, yes. correct? Marseille that is a port. Yes. Oh, nice. So you said I should go to the cathedral. Where else should I go in Valletta? Cathedral. So Valletta is the oldest city. Ah, nice! You have Zira here and then you have Centurion. Then you have Sperma. So they are just opposite each other. Interesting. So this is St. Julian and this is Sperma. So in, in Malta you can basically book accommodation anywhere because they are so close. Yeah. So Malta is full of beaches. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, if you have time. <laughs> you see? Yeah. And they are like this. You see? It's shallow. This is the beach. This is the beach. So you have a beach club this way, um, you Cresta. You see, there is his upper. So you can go like that and you can stay in the water cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Then watching you, or you build the nightclubs. Yeah, You Pachibil. can go even from here. It's where you have Pachibil. the nightclubs. If Pachibil. you walk this one, you can come to the beach. Mm -hmm. right, look, you see? This, nice. all, this road's all to the nightclubs. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. And oh my god. Walk it if you want this one, this yeah. very nice walk. Look, there are many people. Oh my god, it's so. Oh, it's just so so I finally made it to the hotel. It's called Alexandra Hotel in St. Julian. 
So that's one of the cities in Malta. I mean, Malta is very small, so everything is kind of connected. Um, yeah, the receptionist was a very friendly. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I had to wait for 30 minutes for my room to get cleaned. But I just asked her like a recommendation for a restaurant, and she's like, yeah, you can ask around. And I was like, okay, this is weird. But anyways, we move. Um, I will definitely find something. I'll just walk around this area and find my way around. But yeah, it's too late to cancel the hotel, unfortunately. But I'm ready to enjoy. So I will just get a nap and explore the city and have something to eat afterwards. So stay with me as always. So I'll just give you a small tour of the room. Um, there you have the bathroom. Uh, nothing very special, to be honest. Um, here you have a small bath top. I didn't know that. But good to know. Um, then you have a mirror. And uh, here you have a fridge. I don't know if it's empty or full. Yeah, it's empty. Um, you have the safe. The bed looks okay. Um, so a friend of mine might be joining. I love the painting. Um, you have the wardrobe here and a tv small table chairs coffee if you like to have coffee and then you have a balcony so let's look at the view from this area you have the view of this of the sea i think it's st george's beach so the beach is not far from here and it's a very nice area i would say i mean this side doesn't look very nice but yeah but there is a lot happening around this area so I just woke up from my very long nap and I am ready to conquer the city, um, St. Julian. So I booked a hotel in St. Julian, it's called um, Alexander Hotel. And um, around this area there are like a lot of restaurants. I think if you go down this way you will see the beach. But I will just start by finding the restaurant because I am starving and I need to eat. So today's outfit of the day um, is just a combination of pastel colors. Um, you see the top is just light pastel. And um, the pants, light pink. So, and then a pair of um, light pink sneakers as well. So it's just, I'm way for neutrals today. And um, stay with me, I will show you the city. I have no plans, so I'm very spontaneous. So bear with me, I literally have no plans for this trip. So I will be spontaneous, but I think spontaneity. But stay with me and discover this beautiful city of St. Julian. So I'm outside and I'm struggling to walk, bear with me. I'm still done with my injury, but I think the restaurants are this way to your left. So I just have to find out um, where they are. But I literally have no plans, and uh, yeah, you see with me. So let's go. So apparently, all the good restaurants open from 6 30, but so far, I love it. The weather is nice, it's not so warm, it's not so cold. It's just moderate. I think that's like the best weather. No sweat, none of that. So if you wear your makeup, it can definitely last. So let's see um, what this section brings. It looks like there is more life this way. Let me show you.
hello so i just got done with dinner and i'm back at the hotel um how was the food well i would give it a solid 6.5 on 10 um so many reasons why um the bread was really great like homemade bread olive oil was very very yummy all the way from, directly from sicily but when it came to the service um i have a few thoughts but i wouldn't make a lot of assumptions right now but it wasn't like the best service i have to say um i think care was given to so many people i think this is one of the things being a solo traveler especially a solo female black traveler there are so many things to come across that um you really cannot ignore but i choose to ignore it because i really um don't want to focus my energy on the negative but i was supposed to go to paceville that's where the nightlife is vibrant in um, in uh, st julian but my foot was really hurting so i had to go back home and this is where i am tomorrow is another day um i'll just show you the neighborhood it looks pretty um vibrant i mean not this side but there are a couple of places open right now a lot of restaurants open in the evening from 7 or 6 30 so if you really want to eat you need to like have something in between the day if you want to go to a good restaurant you need to have a reservation from 7 7 30 um apart from that it was a lovely evening it's time for me to rest i am exhausted see you guys tomorrow ciao stay tuned good morning another bright day in malta and i just woke up a few minutes ago i'm almost late for breakfast i barely have 25 minutes but i just wanted to show you guys today's outfit of the day which is a white dress um it's a cut out at the side and then i have white slippers so today it's all white um it's like a midi dress and it's very airy i think it's best for the weather and i will pair it up with this um nice hat because today is quite sunny and um, I'm going to spend the whole day outside and it also have this cute bag to accompany um, the day and I will just wear a pair of sunglasses and I will just take you guys with me for breakfast so stay tuned, stay with me and don't go away Um, yeah, so I'm just going to walk down spontaneously before heading to Sliema for shopping and eventually Valletta um, where I'll spend the whole evening. So stay with me and just follow me um, along this beautiful area. Ciao! Oh, 
buses from different locations. But the bus connection is very good. It actually goes through the coast. So it actually passed through Sliema, through other cities. And then the last station was Valletta, which is like the capital city of Malta. So let's see what it has to offer. So far I know it. It's beautiful. Let's see how it is. You must know me. Uh, you make me crazy. Kind of like Johnny. Thumbs it down better. of the bus station there is this uh, place where they give free advice to visit the city so I just got a map and I'm about to explore Valletta it's very small so I think it's possible to do it in like a few minutes or a couple of hours let me not be <laughs> let me not exaggerate things so let's explore I have the map here I think if you walk up this way um, it takes to the bridge and then you can eventually get to the city center so let's see what it has to offer and of course stay with me Oh, it feels like, feels like yellow, yellow It hurts like yellow, yellow, yellow You had to let me go Yellow, yellow It hurts like yellow We tried too many times Ooh, you got me feeling cool Ooh, you got me feeling blue Something but you so see through just stay right by you. So this is actually the street I'm looking forward to the most and I just stumbled across uh, with all this, uh, this beautiful stuff. If you're walking through it, you're just walking through the small streets and you can never feel like you definitely find some hidden germs in between the streets. So just keep walking and see what you have in between the streets. And I will just check maybe you have like some nice pizzerias or maybe some nice pizzerias around here. Let's see what can I do. Special night or yes, special yes, day, yes, and yes. it's Saturday when the moon is full. The moon is full, so it's yes. called Notabia. Yes, what time is it? It's night, yeah, it's white. white. Ah, night. white night. Okay, yes. thank you. The museums are free, <laughs> yes. Um, Notabia, yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, uh, and you can go inside the castle as well. Thank Let's you. Yeah, then you keep walking, and yeah. there's a garden, a small garden, and that's called the upper. So those are the three cities. Because you have the view of the three cities yes, from just, this angle. Yes. Okay. Yes. You just walk straight. Mm. Don't turn right or left. Just keep going keep straight. Keep going straight. Right. Theta. Yeah. No, these are the offices of the bank. This okay. was the most beautiful theater. Mm -hmm. They would never visit it again. Unfortunately, oh, it was sad. bombarded by um, in, in the Second World War by okay. the Germans. Um, uh oh. <laughs> Yes. My bad. What can you do? Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah. It was a beautiful theater. Okay. This is what it, uh, the remains so it's of just, it. Um, the now they do area, it though. An, an open air theater. Okay. This one. Yes. Perfect. Thank um, you. Then you can Sweet also advice. walk. The Republic yeah. Street? Yes. Yeah, the main street of Valletta. Then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, <laughs> you keep walking right. on your right, and there, there is the ca the cathedral, Saint ah, John's the cathedral. Co cathedral. Co -co cathedral. Okay, Saint John's Co Cathedral is this the way. capital city of Malta. It was Medina. Yeah. There is there is cathedral. Yeah. But uh, then the knights yeah. want to build a city close to the harbour mm -hmm. for protection because Medina ah. was a war center. Right. Um, so then they build the city and they build, uh, it's called the Co Cathedral, yeah. the Co -cathedral. which is also very nice. Okay. At the moment, I think it's closed, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I just met this wonderful lady. She actually helped me take a photo and then she helped me with the history of Malta and the city. So there she is. Hi, <laughs> Josette. <laughs> Josette. So she was hosting for students before and she literally knows everything about the city. So she really helped me a lot. Thank you, Josette. You're welcome. 
very yeah. helpful. Um, You're welcome. I'll definitely explore and come back on Saturday for this. Um, for the Nota Bianca. For the Nota Bianca. That's on Saturday. What time is it? It starts at around 5 6, but five, it six. carries on till 2 a.m. Okay, sure. perfect. Okay, and it's. So I'm very lucky the Nota Bianca happens once a year. Yeah, and it's happening on Saturday. It's Saturday, yes. So it extends to 2 and then you have access to all the areas we're not able to see and, in Malta. And the museums yeah. are free as well. And the museums are free, um, there is live music, yeah. there is classical music, concerts, and yeah. She so said it's very, very um, helpful. Thank you so much again. So I was very lucky, I met this wonderful Maltese lady and she told me to go this way, um, up to the Hope America Garden. And there you can actually have a panoramic city. So it's very small. Afterwards, I'll just explore the St. John Cathedral. Because if you go down this way to your left, right, you can um, definitely find the St. John's Cathedral. So if you just check in this parallel street, um, there are so many hidden gems. So watch out for Valletta. Um, everywhere is a gem. Just look around. I think there is something historic for everything. It's cute. in every um, small town or city I go to. So I just landed on the street constantly and there are some pretty good shops around. So I'm just trying to see if I can find something good. Let's see. Let's see. There's something for me. Let you know. Don't need anyone else. I just want to be for myself. Oh, I'll nobody else.
this place, um, it's called Impasta, and they do only pastas, so they are specialized only in pasta. So I just want to have um, food and then go down to this bar. They have um, happy hour. So one cup will get one cup free. This is where I'll just have dinner. I think we have food from six, so let's see. hour till six <laughs> so I will definitely go there have two cocktails and go back to Bal um, go back to St. Julian and maybe go to the Hilton Hotel if I still have energy or just go back to bed and I had a very long day but the service here was also very good I think this is the best service I've received um, since I, I came to Malta um, the guy was very friendly and also um, quite engaging so I totally recommend this place um, in Pasta. They specialize solely in pasta, so check it out later. I just got it by Mano Bar. That's the bartender. <laughs> it's so pretty, like the architecture and everything is super cool. The interior design is so good, so I just want to have a few cocktails before going back to the hotel. So, Let's see what is here. It looks very lively. We have the lights. 